Welcome back to Good Morning Vail. Joining me now, Leilani Munter, and she is a race car driver and an environmental activist. And you're here for the Vail Film Festival and one film in particular called Racing Extinction. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Have you been in the Vail area before? I have, a long time ago. But um, this is the first time we're screening Racing Extinction here that I know of. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the Vail Film Festival is a great film festival, really great for some of these independent films and these documentaries. And Racing Extinction is, is a beautiful piece. Tell us all about it. So Racing Extinction is from the Academy Award winning team that made The Cove. So The Cove is the most winning documentary of all time. It won the Academy Award back in 2010. And since then, they've been working on this film Racing Extinction, which has taken five years to film. And it actually aired on the Discovery Channel in December okay. um, globally. Uh, but it's about the sixth mass extinction that we're living through right now. So scientists actually estimate that we're up, if, at, if we keep going at this rate that we're going right now, we will lose half of the species on Earth by the end of the century. Really? So every single other mass extinction that we've had um, has been due to something happening naturally. This is the first mass extinction that is actually being caused by man. So they actually call this era the Anthropocene, which translates to the age of man. It's where the impact of humans on the planet is so great that we're actually changing the fossil record of the future. So, I mean, it sounds very very interesting like what like what are the things that the human race is doing that is that may be causing this give us a few examples well obviously the burning of fossil fuels so as we pump fossil fuels um, for fuel we're putting carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere okay. um, so one of the issues is is transportation and just the burning of fossil fuels in general um, we also touch on uh, the meat and dairy industry which actually greenhouse gas emissions from the meat and dairy industry is actually greater um, than all of the entire transportation sector put together. Um, wow. So if you've got solar panels on your roof and you know you're driving an electric car like I do um, and you're living green but you're eating meat and dairy products you're still having a very big carbon footprint on the atmosphere. And then so what is your what have you what, what is your part with the movie? What are you are you in the movie? I am in the movie okay. so I'm one of the activists so Racing okay. Extinction is sort of a gathering of all different kind of artists and activists that are working together to raise awareness about this issue. Um, so as a race car driver I was brought in to drive a, a very special sort of James Bond uh, okay. version of a Tesla Model S. Um, it's a modified Model S that has a 15,000 lumen projection system that comes out of the back of the car which which allows me to project very large images from up to a quarter mile away. So it essentially makes, you know, any solid uh, building or mountain my canvas. Oh, no, neat. Um, in addition to that, it's the first car in the world with electroluminescent paint, so I can actually change the color of the car. It can light up at night, sort of like a, a bioluminescent creature under the ocean. And then out of the front of the car, um, so a Tesla has two oh. trunks. We've got a front trunk and a back trunk. Yeah. Out of the front of the car, we have a high-definition FLIR camera, forward-looking infrared, that has a special color filter on it that helps make carbon dioxide and methane visible to the human eye. So you're a race car driver, though, but in this particular car, you're not racing, right? No, no. no. you I drive am, race cars. I do drive race cars, but this car, for this film, I was basically, we're doing projections, some gotcha. in places that we have permission for, some in places that we do not, right. like some oil refineries and things like that. So. There were certain situations where I had to get us out of trouble, so I was essentially the getaway driver. <laughs> and the car gets up and goes away fast, right? I'm it sure. does. And they can change the color, like, well, we were looking for that yellow car, and yep. now you're in the blue car, or whatever, right? But I can change neat. the license plate, I can change the color, yeah. It's pretty cool. What a neat experience. <laughs> I want to go see this film. This sounds, I wasn't quite sure what it was all about, but you make it sound even so much more interesting being able to talk to you. Yeah, it's a fantastic film and it's, um, you know, it, it's, I know it sounds sort of doom and gloom, right? Learning about what human beings Education, are doing though. to destroy the environment, but there's also a lot of solutions presented in the film. So I've had a lot of people comment that, you know, I came away from the film changing, changing things about my life and, and it's, it's somewhat hopeful as well. So it's a, it's a warning, but it's also hopeful that we, we can solve these issues. We have the technology to change the way that we're living on the planet and live in a more sustainable right. way that doesn't destroy the world around us. It's just a matter of us adopting those. I've, I haven't been to a gas station since September of 2013. I've got a Tesla, I've got solar panels on my roof and 
you know, I don't worry about what gas prices are at because I don't use gas anymore. Is there going to be any kind of a Q and A with the with the with the screening tonight? Yes. So I will do a Q and A after the film. Okay. So it starts at seven thirty at the Valar Center tonight. And do we think tickets are still available? We hope there are. But let's sell it, this thing out. It is free to the public. Oh, it's free. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. So this is at the Valar Center, seven thirty tonight. Yes. You'll be there. You're going to be dressed up in um, your car driving outfit. You're going to have the car. No. Any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just no, I think no. it's fast. This just is a great like conversation. <laughs> so much. This is really interesting. So, Racing Extinction tonight at the Valar Center, free 7:30. Uh, Leilani Muncher will be there, and you can check out this amazing, amazing film. Uh, we'll be right back with more Good Morning Bill.